Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna cover a few different places to farm for various materials, including Crag Spectra, which is needed to craft imbuements, skeleton chests, gold, archaic bones, arc stone, gloom stones, and gloom shards. If you find these videos helpful and wanna stay up to date with Wayfinder videos, make sure to subscribe. Early in the game, you seem to have enough Crag Spectra while questing in the Highlands to be able to craft plenty of imbuements. But as you progress further and need to use multiple imbuements for mutators, you'll find yourself needing more. Highlands has Spectra nodes all over the map, but I found a route that makes it easy to get Crag Spectra while also providing you with memory fragments. There are also two skeleton chests that can give you anything from three imbuements, which is the equivalent to 30 Spectra. It can also give you gloom shards and more. It's best to equip a gun so that you can do this while moving and avoid fighting any mobs. Make sure to start it at the southwest part of the Highlands at this teleporter. Begin your route and move towards the hill with the birds and then drop down. Most of the time there will be two nodes you can gather as soon as you drop. Then head towards the cave where the giant worms are. Keep an eye out for any nodes that spawn near the entrance and as you make your first turn you will come to a skeleton chest. Open the chest and then proceed further into the cave looking for more nodes. There are typically on average about four nodes throughout this section of the cave. As you head out of the cave continue north towards the beam you can take like a zipline. Before taking the zip, drop down and check for more nodes that spawn right against the rocks. Pop back up and then take the zip where you'll grab memory fragments on the way and get dropped off at another skeleton chest. Near this location there can also be another node. At this point you'll want to drop down and run around this area near lower skylight grabbing multiple treasure chests and spectra nodes throughout. Once you feel like you have gathered most if not all the nodes, all you need to do is open your map and travel to skylight. Then travel back to the original teleport location in the southwest of Highlands and most of the time you will have a fresh instance with the node spawned as well as the skeleton chest. This is an easy way to grab spectra, imbuements, gloom shards, and memory fragments every few minutes. Next is an easy way to get gold that involves picking a lost zone and slotting in the greed imbuement to spawn piles of gold. I recommend doing Undercroft as it's a simple layout with a good bit of resource spawns if you want to gather those as well. Your goal here is to run the Lost Zone as fast as possible, skipping all the enemies aside from the rooms that force you to clear them, and then the boss. If you have extra Greed Imbuements to spare, slotting in a Greed Imbuement at the Chalice gives you a speed buff, which is quite useful for this. Run around and collect all the gold piles, skipping enemies and then defeating the boss at the very end. This run took about 2.5 minutes and I earned over 5000 gold plus other resources. For Arc Stones, I'd also recommend running Undercroft, and I'm not sure if Greed increases the chance for them to spawn, but in my runs they appeared more. You'll want to run this with matchmaking off, as only one player per instance can grab these. Again, Undercroft is simple and quick to help gather these quickly if you need. If you're looking for chances at trickster coins, try running Undercroft with a chaos imbuement and matchmaking off so that you'll be the only one in the instance. The trickster will typically spawn where the curator usually is, but just make sure you do not have a quest to turn into the curator, as it seems to prioritize him over the trickster spawn. If you're looking to farm archaic bones, which you'll need for crafting, then head to the bloodworks in the mines. Here too seems to work just fine and the main thing you're looking for here is a drill spawn to start the what lies beneath event. Use the drill and offer an imbuement. Chaos imbuements seem to work well and proceed to look for the next drill further in the instance. On your way make sure to grab any god's blood to store for future use. Once you find the drill and clear out the event, if you're lucky you should have earned an archaic bone. You can rinse and repeat queuing for this dungeon and just back out if you don't get a drill spawn. I'd also recommend doing this with matchmaking off. If you're looking to farm for Senja's Glory, Wormwood is currently not in the game. I was able to get Senja's Glory after defeating Grand Deceiver Maris, so make sure to farm that boss for this item. Loot Goblins are great for farming everything from imbuements to gloomstones. You can see here that we earned 10 greed imbuements, while this goblin dropped 16 grey gloomstones. In raw materials, that is 100 crag spectra and 320 gloom shards. Doing lost zones and opening chests are one of the best way to just farm memory fragments, gloom shards, and gloom stones. Make sure to open every chest you can and leave nothing behind. Hopefully this helps with some of your farming runs and I'll look to keep you up to date with any more tips regarding new resources. Wishing you all the best in the adventures, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.